Hornet is a foe unlike any other you've faced so far. She's small, fast, and incredibly mobile. Expect to die to her, over and over again. To best her, keep your eyes on her and play reactively, not aggressively. Don't panic if you get hit. Hornet is quick to punish those who flail. When she crouches, she's winding up to dash. Jump over her and pogo on her head as she passes. When she holds her needle up and back, she's winding up to throw it. If you're not near her, run away, jump, and pogo on her needle when it's at the end of its range. If you're near her, jump and pogo on her head until she recalls the needle. When she jumps and dives towards you, jump over her and pogo on her head. If she whips her thread around her in a sphere, just keep your distance until she's done. You have three opportunities for healing in this fight. When she's staggered, if you're fast, you can heal two masks. During the thread ball move, you can heal one mask. If you're lucky enough to be out of range for the throw move, you can heal another mask there. Relying on your nail and saving your soul for healing is the safest way to fight her. But if you're confident in your ability to dodge, the spell you acquired in the Ancestral Mound is more powerful than your nail. It can be used on her when she's staggered, when she's doing the thread ball attack, or if you're out of range during her throw. You have access to multiple useful charms at this point in the game. Stalwart Shell can be helpful if you find yourself taking multiple hits in quick succession. If you're finding yourself low on soul for either healing or spellcasting, you may get some use out of the Soul Catcher charm acquired in the Ancestral Mound. Be persistent and prove your strength. Shut up! 